Hey everybody, Joy here. Ah, can you believe I've almost got my fall star wheel done? You'll notice half of it is missing. This is Thursday, November 18, 2021, a week from Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're going to my Boo Bear's house. We've never been there yet, and I haven't seen him for over a year. I'm so, so excited. There's not a cloud high enough, but I can say that I'm on because I'm just so, so happy. And I just, I just got my hair standing up on goosebumps just thinking about it. So anyway, you can see half my quilt is missing. I'm going to show you where the other half is in a minute. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. I used my big board here. And I started out in the center of the quilt. I want to give you a tip. Whatever space you're going to use, if you start in the center of the quilt like I did, or even if you start at the top of the quilt, find out where the center of your board is. I looked at it and I thought, oh, this is about the center over here. I was off about three inches. And so my blocks ended up hanging over this side of this flannel board and I had like three or four inches left over here. So find out the center. Find out the center up here, the center down there. I start from the center and go out because you have no idea how wide it's going to be or how long it's going to be unless you're going to make it perfectly towards some pattern. So that's just one little tip. Um, I wasn't able to see all my blocks like I can now because I didn't start in the center and then you know as I was putting up, it was just one block, like this. You want to see all the blocks I have left over? And this isn't even all of them. Now, I started this quilt early last week, was it? And I decided I did not like just the layer cake that I bought from Missouri Star Quilt Company. It wasn't enough color for me. I didn't like it. I didn't like the browns. You'll notice mine ended up with hardly, with no browns. It's got a little bit of brown in one of the prints, maybe two of the prints, but it has hardly any brown in it. I didn't like the browns. Um, I used, mm, I don't know, I'd say I didn't even use half of that layer cake that I bought from Missouri Star Quilt Company because my lightning fast mind remembered <laughs> about three days after I started it that I had all of those fall fat quarters in the other room from way, 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 way back when I did that swap of six inch fall colored squares and the idea was you used a plane and a print and a plane and a print and a plane and a print. I put a picture right here if I can find that quilt. I think I've shown it to you several times. So anyway, I remembered that I had those fat quarters, so I went dashing in the other room and opened up the closet and got out my four containers and put them on the table. Well, guess what? Fat quarters aren't 10 inches wide. They're only 9 inches wide. So I was very sad <laughs> that I couldn't use 95% of the ones I had, but I had enough I had a lot of others that I purchased because not every store had fat quarters and so sometimes I would just say cut me a third of a yard or cut me a half of a yard or cut me 12 inches or something like that. So I ended up with a whole bunch that I could use out of my stash and I recommend that you do that too if you think you're going to make it out of just that layer cake. I don't think you'll be happy with it. So I want to show you what I did. <laughs> I would make the blocks and put them up here. And then I would stand across the room and I would look at it and I'd think, ooh, I don't like that one, ooh, I don't like that one, oh, that one's too dark, that one's too light, there's too many greens, there's too many yellows, there's too many oranges. So I kept on making more blocks, more blocks, more blocks, more blocks. So I want to show you how many I have that I didn't even use. idea. I just kept putting two together, putting two together, putting two together. And of course, you still have your plain. I chose pale yellow. 
you still have your plain blocks in here. So you want to see where the other half is? <laughs> I got half of it done yesterday. These rows are all sewn together, but they're not sewn row to row to row yet, okay? So I wanted to decide what I wanted to do for the skinny border and the wide border. So what I did was I took the top half of the quilt in my other room and I put it on the ground and I started laying out what I had to choose from for borders. So you want to see what I think I'm going to use? Oh my, I've got these things everywhere. <laughs> Let me take you in the other room, and I'll show you what I think I'm going to use for a border. Uh, Bonder doesn't like it. She says it takes away from the center of the quilt. I do like it. I think it's really pretty, and I think it'll go great with it. So you all tell me what you think. I've tried yellow with black. I've tried green with yellow. I've tried yellow with green. I've tried all different combinations, but this is my very favorite. Let me take you in there. So there's the top half. I'm making that quilt right there. And I'm fixing to lose my battery. It's saying dead battery. I'll be back. So if you all buy a video camera, be sure you buy an extra battery for it. So important. So here I am in here. This is what we're making. We're making that quilt right there. It is called a carpenter's star or a carpenter's wheel. Some of them have one wheel, some of them have two wheels. I did one wheel. If I had done two wheels, that thing would spread clear across the windows. <laughs> so here's the new one. I'm calling this one the Fall Star Wheel. Let me turn it sideways, maybe you can see it better. So here is what I'm using so far for... I don't have my lights in here, so hopefully you can see this good. Let's go down, clown. That right there is what I'm going to use for my wide border and my skinny border. That's my plan, anyway, so far. It's my favorite that I've found. And I love that print on the outside of it. I think it just extends the quilt. I think it just makes it look like, hey, the quilt doesn't stop until you get out here. <laughs> I have a yellow point, a burgundy point, a green point and an orange point and then those same colors are throughout the rest of the quilt okay <clears throat> I think it's lovely I can't wait to get it done and up on that wall where it belongs you want to see the thread I'm gonna put on it hold on I have a whole bunch of variegated threads I did variegated thread on that turquoise quilt in there so what I do is I unwind all of these and like dribble the thread over the quilt. I didn't like this one, although I thought I would. I didn't like this one, although I thought I would. But this one that's mostly golds and greens, let me put it where the light's shining on it, maybe you can see it better. This one that's mostly golds and greens, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll tell you how you decide. Y'all, if you watch Donna Jordan, You've seen her choose thread. So what you do is you unwind a whole bunch of it. And this should be lying on my uh, long arm getting ready to be quilted, but it isn't yet. And so, and then you put the thread, look at that. Is that pretty or what? Look at that, I just love it. So that means that whatever pattern I use, which is going to be falling leaves, by the way, there will be falling leaves all in this yellow part in these uh, golds and greens. So I think this is just luscious and <laughs> I'm so excited. I want to get this quilted. I don't know if I'll get it done before we take our trip. If I can finish this quilt today when we get back from the grocery store, if I can get it back together and get it on the long arm, then I can just turn the computer on and uh, start running the fall leaves. Of course I had to find fall leaves first. but. <laughs> Oh, I just want to have a fall colored quilt before fall's over. Did your trees all turn yellow and red and brown in gorgeous colors overnight? Ours did. Ours turned overnight. They did. So I wanted to tell you that I, after I sewed 
the diagonal, the two diagonal lines, you draw a line corner to corner, then you sew a quarter inch away on both sides, and then you end up with two of these. Two 10 inch squares, a plane and a print, sew them together, sewing down the diagonal like I just told you, you end up with two. One, two. You end up with two. Then, you don't want to just use them. You don't want to just cut the dog, the bunny ears off and use them because everyone will be a different size if you do that. So you get a ruler. This is a nine and a half inch ruler. You line the diagonal line on the ruler up with the diagonal line on your square like that. Be sure, be sure, be sure. Don't pay attention to anything else except the diagonal line, which is your seam line. Line it up with this diagonal line, then see what size yours come out. Mine did not come out to nine and a half. Avondra's did. Mine didn't. Mine came out to a little over nine and a quarter. Somewhere between a quarter and a half. So I trimmed all of mine to nine and a quarter. So every single one of these blocks you saw me throw up in the air, nine and a quarter inch square. Every one of these, nine and a quarter inch square. Okay, so you want to be sure you do that or you're going to have a quilt that's a mess with all kinds of um, what do you call it? Um, lumps and bumps and um, you don't want that. Okay, so this is mine. Not totally done yet, but close. I hope y'all are working on yours. If you are, please send me a picture. I'd love to see a picture when you get your quilt done. You gotta let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'm all done. Where do I send my picture? And I'll tell you where to send it. And I will share it with everybody else if you want me to. If you don't say, I don't ever want anybody to see this ever, 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 but you, well, then I won't share it, okay? <laughs> Gonna let you go. It's already 12 o'clock here. I feel like I just woke up. The weather is perfect. If you could pick a weather for the weather to be, it is amazing. It's about 65 or 70 degrees, sunny. The leaves, every once, there's, every once in a while there's a little breeze that just poofs through and the leaves just gently fall down. Oh. And then at night it's cool, like 45, 50 degrees. And it's just, oh, it's my very, very favorite season. And I bet it's your very favorite season too, a lot of you that live down here where it's like this. Okay, dear ones, gonna let you go. I'd like to get this up for you to see, because I know you wonder, what the heck happened to Joy? She disappeared again. I actually made you a real long video showing how I did this, but it was such a mess, I couldn't even understand it. When I make videos over several days, and I do a clip here, and a clip here, and a clip here, and a clip here, when I put them together, it just looks like, what the heck? This lady needs a nap or something. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>